Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be going through acute kidney injury. At the end of the video, we have a little quiz as well. So watch the video and practice on that. So let's start with the acute kidney injury. So what's the criteria? When we can say that this patient has the acute kidney injury? Whenever there is rise in serum creatinine from baseline 0.3 milligram per deciliter within 48 hours. So within 48 hours from baseline increase of 0.3 milligram per deciliter or 50% higher serum creatinine than baseline within 7 days or reduction in urine output to less than 0.5 milliliter per kg per hour for more than 6 hours. The higher amount of creatinine and reduction in the urine output they must will give some symptoms. What are the signs and symptoms? They will decrease the appetite, there will be shortness of breath, irregular heartbeat, chest pain or pressure, periorbital or peripheral edema and urine output is low of course. You may know that chronic kidney injury that has five stages uh, according to the GFR but in the AKI we have three stages they depends on the serum creatinine level and the urine output level. The first stage is 1.5 to 1.9 times baseline of serum creatinine increase and urine output level is less than 0.5 ml per kg per hour for more than 6 hours and less than 12 hours. Second stage we have is between 2 to 2.9 times of baseline serum creatinine and less than 0.5 ml per kg per hour for more than 12 hours. The third stage is 3 times baseline and urine output is less than 0.3 ml per kg per hour for more than 24 hours. There are three main types of causes of the acute kidney injury. The first is pre-renal, intrinsic renal and post-renal. Pre-renal means whenever something is stopping or decreasing the blood flow to the kidney. So this is kidney, anything which is interrupting the renal artery or the overall any systemic disease or systemic condition or any injury, any illness which is reducing the blood pressure to the kidneys. So interruption of the blood flow to the kidneys due to blood loss, dehydration, heart failure, sepsis or vascular occlusion due to any reason. Second is intrinsic renal. Direct injury to the kidneys by inflammation or drugs or toxins, infections or reduced blood supply. The main, the first and must most important cause of the intrinsic renal is acute tubular necrosis. Acute tubular necrosis can happen due to drugs, toxins or prolonged hypotension. All types of glomerulonephritis, they comes under intrinsic renal and acute tubular necrosis due to any autoimmune disease or infection or small vessels vasculitis, for example, HUS or TTP. Third is post-renal. Post-renal is whenever there is any obstruction to the urine flow. For example, benign prosthetic hyperplasia. So in men, the BPH is the most common cause of post-renal cause of the acute kidney injury. And second, second cause in the men is prostate cancer. Others are cervical cancer, metal stenosis or phimosis, retroperitoneal fibrosis and urinary calculi. So any of them can cause the AKI. In pre-renal, we have some drugs as well. So what are the drugs which are involved in the pre-renal? These are NSAIDs, Sorry. NSAIDs cyclosporins, and AC inhibitors or ARBs. So these drugs can cause the pre-renal AKI. Let's see an example of drugs causing pre-renal AKI. So let's say this is glomerulus and this is efferent arterial which is bringing the blood in and this is efferent arterial which is taking the blood out. Right? So to uh, maintain the proper GFR, we need to dilate it and we need to constrict it, right? Uh, because we need a proper blood flow inside the kidney, inside the glomerulus. 
टू डू दैट द किडनी हैज इट्स ऑन वेजो डायलेटर ऑन वेजो कंस्ट्रिक्टर बिकॉज इट हैज इट्स ऑन ऑटो रेगुलेशन राइट सो द एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द रास सिस्टम दिस इज एनजीओ टेंशन टू एनजीओ टेंशन टू Now this angiotensin two works on the efferent arterial, which constricts the uh, efferent arterial, and it maintains the GFR. Second thing we have is prostaglandins. Prostaglandins constrict the uh, dilates the uh, efferent arterial, so that will also help the to maintain the GFR, right? Now let's say the patient is taking ACE inhibitors or ARBs. So these drugs will block the angiotensin two. If angiotensin two is not there. this efferent arterial will dilate right and if the patient is taking anesthets anesthets are natural blockers of the prostaglandins so that's why efferent arterial will constrict so this is anti of the normal physiology of the kidney so that's how the gfr will decrease so that will lead to the aki so that's why if the patient is taking ace inhibitors for the long time and anesthets for the long time the kidneys should be monitored to know the cause of post renal aki we may uh, do the ultrasound we may uh, check for the clinical signs or we may uh, do the physical uh, diagnosis right but to know the uh, pre renal and intrinsic renal cause we have three more things to do it's bun and creatinine ratio the blood urea nitrogen and creatinine ratio If it's more than twenty is to one, then it's pre-renal cause. If it's less than twenty is to one, then it's intrinsic cause. If the fractional excretion of sodium it's less than one percent, it's pre-renal cause. If it's more than one percent, it's intrinsic cause. If the urine osmolarity it's more than five hundred. it's prenatal cause if it's less than 350 it's intrinsic cause to treat the aki we should know the cause first of all whatever the cause is we should hydrate if it's prenatal right and we should eliminate the toxins if it's intrarenal cause we should consider the biopsy cbc and esr to know the cause other than that we should treat the cause and eliminate the toxins if it's post renal we should do the ct scan but this ct scan should be without contrast and we should relieve the obstructions with this we end the aki let's practice some questions the first question is 68 year old male creatinine is 2 mg per deciliter and in this patient the baseline is 1 mg per deciliter urine output is 0.3 ml and the we have to guess the aki stage so as we know we have three stages and these three stages of the ak they depends on the serum creatinine and the urine output if the baseline is 1 and the creatinine in this patient is 2 it, it means this is double right and if its urine output it's less than uh, 0.5 ml per kg per hour and it's more than 12 hours so this is second stage right second question 77 year old uh, shopkeeper with history of hypertension taking ramipril so this is important since 30 years this is a long time and uh, got back pain 2 years ago and taking naproxen for that and is it so now comes with the symptoms of aki what's the cause so if someone is taking ramipril and the naproxen for the long time we know this is the vasomotor dysfunction of the glomerulus Next question: Forty-year-old uh, female, history of sore throat, ASO titer is positive. See, sore throat history and ASO titer. ASO titer means anti-streptolysin O titer. So this is positive in the post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Why I'm saying glomerulonephritis? Because the patient has edema, weakness, and hematuria. The cause of AK is asked. so this should be post streptococcal glomerulonephritis and every type of glomerulonephritis that comes under intrarenal cause next question 73 year old male signs and symptoms of urinary frequency pain while urinating dribbling the symptoms of aki what what's the cause of aki so see 
symptoms are you of urinary frequency pain while urinating dribbling these are symptoms associated with the prostate it could be benign prostatic hyperplasia or the prostatic cancer we don't know the biopsy is of course needed right so uh, whenever any kind of uh, cancer any tumor or the hyperplasia is there and in the men the bph is the most common cause of post renal cause of aki right so this is the post renal post renal cause. next question 52 year old female muddy brown cast sterile pyuria amorphous sediments proteinuria uh, the fractional uh, excretion of sodium is 2% which is more than 1% what's the cause so the muddy brown cast and the uh, other symptoms as well the amorphous sediments and proteinuria and uh, the sterile pyuria these symptoms and the uh, fena these are indicating the acute tubular necrosis so this was all about it see you in the next one